Hi everybody, my name is Max Feinstein and I'm an anesthesiology resident at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. During medical school and residency, I've developed a passion for research, particularly in anesthesiology, bioethics, and infectious diseases. In this video series, I'm sharing tips and tricks for research based on my own experience that includes a number of grants as well as publications. My hope is that these videos are going to be helpful for medical students as well as residents who are either just getting started with research or would like to refine their approach to ongoing research. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to pick a target journal to submit your manuscript to. So my first recommendation is that you actually start by making a list of journals where you'd like to see your manuscript published. Starting at the top with the journal that you'd most like to see your manuscript in and then work your way down from there. So the reason why I take that approach is because I really wouldn't like to end up in a situation where the first journal where I submit my manuscript accepts my article and then I wonder, gee, could I have submitted this article to a higher impact factor journal that maybe would have been a little bit more competitive but you know, would increase the likelihood that my article is going to be read and maybe be cited. Um, so for that reason, I like to make a list like this. Um, another reason I like to make this kind of list is because it makes it really easy in the event that I get an article rejected. I can just move right on down the list without having to give too much thought and invest too much time into what's going to be the next journal where I'm going to be submitting this piece. Um, the reality, at least in my experience, is that rejections happen. Um, sometimes I get an article accepted on the first go around, um, but more often than not, I'll get a rejection or maybe a couple rejections from a couple different journals. Um, so that's why it's just important to me to have a list of target journals where I can submit my manuscript. In terms of actually figuring out which journals are gonna be a good fit for your manuscript, the first place that I would start would be looking at the mission statement on journal websites that seem like they might be journals that would be relevant to your manuscript. And the best way to do this is usually to just go to the journal's website and then click on the About tab or there might be an Info for Authors tab that's going to have a mission statement, which is just gonna be a quick blurb that lets readers and authors know what is it that the journal that likes to publish on, what do they focus on, and this way you can make sure that if, for example, you have a manuscript about basic sciences, that you're not going to end up submitting to a journal that doesn't really publish anything on basic science. Another characteristic of journals that you're going to want to spend some time trying to figure out is how widely is this journal read and how frequently is this journal cited. So there are a number of different ways of measuring that and probably the most common ways by looking at what's called an impact factor. So there are several different ways to calculate an impact factor. It's not a perfect way of ranking journals, but it will help you get a good sense of relatively from one journal to the next, how widely is it read and how frequently are articles in that journal cited. So for some of the really widely read journals, New England Journal of Medicine, Nature, The Lancet, JAMA, these types of journals are going to have very high impact factors in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, whereas specialty specific journals, and this is really going to depend on what specialty we're talking about, um, but those journals are going to have impact factors that range between say 2 and 10. Um, so spend some time looking at the impact factor for journals that you're interested in. You can typically find that on journal websites either on their front page or sometimes they have it under an info page or about the journal page. Um, so you can spend some time looking there. The other place where you can look for information about journal rankings to just get a relative sense of what is going to be a journal that's more highly read and highly cited than other journals is by looking at this website called SciMago. So it's not a perfect tool. They have several different markers that they use for journal ranking, uh, but this can just help you get a sense of uh, which journals are going to be the more competitive ones um, that could maybe make it higher up on your list. Um, there are several different ways that you can sort journals by ranking on SciMago and different categories that uh, you can break journals down by. So I'd recommend playing around with this website and seeing if it can be useful for you as you're coming up with a list of journals to submit your manuscript to. Another factor for you to consider is whether the journal that you're looking at is indexed on PubMed. And this is really going to be context dependent based on your location. If you're in the United States, I would say this is pretty important. Um, anything that you list on your CV, you can include a PubMed ID. And depending on where you're applying for residency or a fellowship, you may be asked to input the PubMed ID for any of your publications. Um, if you're outside the United States, I think it really just depends where you are. I spent a year doing research in Colombia and South America and not all of the journals that were useful for me as I was doing research there were listed on PubMed. They were indexed on um, other research databases. Um, but for the most part, if you're in the United States, this is something that you would like to see 
for any journal that you're publishing in. The last thing that I want to mention is to make sure that any journal that you're submitting your article to is not a predatory journal. There are several resources that you can use to identify what predatory journals are, but the most important thing is that you just stay away from them. Um, once you start publishing and you've listed your email address as a corresponding author, you'll probably start getting emails from predatory journals. They're usually pretty easy to spot, but can sometimes slip past my radar. Um, so just be aware of what journals are familiar to you and you know are legitimate journals that um, don't engage in predatory practices. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about what that is, but um, suffice it to say, you should just stay away from predatory journals. Well, that wraps up this episode on picking a target journal for manuscript submission. If you have any feedback, I'd love to know what you think. You can go ahead and leave a comment below. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload videos in the future, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And thanks very much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.